Hey guys, in this video I'd like to talk to you about the positive upward spirals happening in your lives and also the negative downward spirals. Now, you know, before you ask, you may be wondering where I am now. Basically, I'm on the rickshaw in Hanoi, Vietnam. We just arrived a couple of days ago. And you know, we decided, you know what? Let's film a video here, it's gonna be fun. My friend and business partner is sitting there, I hope he's not gonna fall down. Uh, it's a little bit dangerous because, you know, the traffic can be a bit nasty, here it's fine, but anyway. Let's get to the topic, the positive uh, upward spirals and the negative downward spirals. Basically, in your life, there are situations when you have either positive momentum happening or the negative momentum happening. So for example, let's say that you lost some of your motivation maybe because of some family issues. You go to your office, you don't perform so well. Well, you get less results. Now, when you get less results, you have even less motivation to take a massive action. When you have less motivation, it impacts your relationship with your co-workers, also your relationship with your boss, right? You take even less action, you get less results. It's a downward spiral. Now what may happen is, you may lose your job, right? When you lose your job, you may apply for new jobs, but obviously you're not very motivated. I mean, come on, you just lost your job, you don't feel over the moon, you don't feel like you wanna sit, you know, in front of your computer applying for jobs. But then you apply to some of them, maybe you get some job interviews, you attend them, but then you don't get the job because they can spot that you are negative. They can spot that something is wrong with you. That's a really bad negative downward spiral. Now let's think about the positive one, the positive spiral. Let's say that you landed a major client, okay? Really big client, you made a bunch of money, you are doing better than ever. Where's your motivation level? Of course it goes up, okay? It goes up like crazy. You feel like you own the world, you feel like, wow, this is amazing, I just wanna keep going, I feel this momentum. You're more motivated, you're more likely to land more clients, why? Because you take massive action. You send more emails, you call more people, you go to more networking events, you talk to people, okay? You take massive action, you're more likely to get results. So that's an example of a positive upward spiral. Now many people believe in that, you know, it's not up to them. It's up to their circumstances. They believe that they have no control over those cycles, okay? If something bad happens to them, well, it's just bad luck. You know what? It's bullshit. It doesn't work like that because the reality is that when something really positive happens to you, you can make it even more positive. And when something bad happens to you, you can break out of that bad spiral straight away. You just have to make a conscious effort to do it. So to give you an example, as I said, a couple of days we came over to Hanoi in Vietnam and we were traveling for like 40 hours. It was ridiculous. I mean, we had so many different flights and we slept for like two hours and we were dead. But since it was a Friday night, we decided, you know, a very smart idea to go out and party. We decided, you know what, let's explore the nightlife in Hanoi. So we went out, we had a great time, but we went to sleep very late. And then of course we woke up very late. So again, the next evening we couldn't fall asleep, okay? We had insomnia, we just couldn't fall asleep. So we went to bed very late at night and then we woke up very late again, we couldn't film. And we started saying to ourselves, what the hell are we doing? We came over to Vietnam to film some videos, to do some business stuff, to meet a bunch of other entrepreneurs. And we are going to sleep very late and we wake up very late, okay? We wake up and the sun is going down. So we made a conscious commitment to ourselves to basically break out of that negative spiral straight away, okay? We didn't even want to wait for it to get worse, but we decided let's break out of it right away. So we made a commitment to ourselves. We said to ourselves, you know what? Tomorrow in the morning, we're gonna wake up, even if it means that we will sleep only for one hour. We're gonna wake up early in the morning, we're gonna eat a healthy breakfast, hit the gym, and we will not go to sleep until the early evening. And we did it. Was it easy? No, it wasn't easy. It was really tough. It was ridiculously tough. My eyes were closing, but we kept going. We filmed some cool videos, took some pictures, went to sleep early. Right now, we are in a state where we go to sleep early, wake up early, we film a ton of videos, we take a ton of pictures, we feel great, we meet many awesome people, and we enter this positive upward spiral. So we gotta understand that, in your personal circumstances, in your personal situation, you can also trigger this positive upward spiral. You just have to make a conscious decision to take action right away, to take massive action. So whenever you feel that something negative is happening, you take action straight away. You don't wait for it to get worse. It's very, very important to know about it. Because when you think about it, most people, <laughs> 
Most people really, you know, really believe that they don't have any control over those things, but it's, it's simply not true. You have a full control. What you focus on, what you do with your life. You got to understand about it. You got to understand it. And the reality is that it's all about creating the right context for your future actions. Because, you know, the truth is that when you get into the negative spiral, you try to get out. But you should, you should try not to get there on the first place. It's very important. Sorry guys, we, you know, we had to cut the video, we had to adjust the frame because my friend, he started falling down, had to grab him. So, so here we go again, okay? <laughs> Hope it's not gonna happen again. Now, you have to identify those situations in your life when, you know, when something positive happens to you, get into the positive spiral, you have to identify it and you have to push even stronger to keep that positive flow. Now, at the same time, when something negative happens, you gotta identify when you fall into this negative spiral and you gotta break out straight away. But most importantly, it's important not to get yourself into this situation when you enter the negative spiral, okay? So you should really think about the ways of avoiding the negative spiral on the first place. What's the best way of doing that? Well, you have to create the right context for everything to come. So, to give you an example, imagine that you wake up in the morning and instead of eating a healthy breakfast, you eat some pizza, you know, some leftovers from the last night. Okay, you eat some leftovers because you feel like, yeah, I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, I'm just gonna eat this. If you do it, later on during the day, you're more likely to eat unhealthy food because you feel like, you know what? I've already eaten unhealthy food. It doesn't make any difference if I eat some sandwich now or if I eat some, you know, some pancake. It doesn't make any difference because I started with the pizza, right? And you're very likely to keep going like that. And by the way, many people live their lives like this, okay? They stopped training on the gym, they stopped jogging, they stopped doing physical exercises, eating healthy food. Now they are 50 pounds overweight and they say to themselves, you know, it's bad anyway, let me just keep going with the flow, all right? That's a very negative spiral. On the other hand, when you start your day with a positive context, with the healthy context, for example, Instead of eating that pizza, those leftovers, you make yourself a really delicious salad with some seafood, maybe eat some fruit, do some exercises. You set up the positive, healthy context for the day. Now, later on, you're more likely to be positive and you're more likely to, to basically keep that healthy living. So when you're faced with some sort of opportunity to you know, go for a pizza with your friends or go to another restaurant and get some salad, you're more likely to choose the salad because you feel like, you know what, I already put some effort into living a healthy life. I had that salad in the morning. I was training today. I don't want to screw it up. I'm just going to go for the healthy food right now. So when you set up the healthy context, you're more likely to act in a healthy way later on. It applies to various areas of your life. So it's really, really important that whenever you take some actions in your life, especially every single day in the morning, you make sure that those, action, those actions will lead to something positive later on, okay? They say how you start your day, that's how you finish your day. Those, the result of wisdom in that, so you gotta remember about it. So, I don't wanna make this video too long because I'm afraid that my business partner will you know, lose his life in a second because we are entering some really big road now. But essentially what I'm trying to convey is that it's very, very, very important to identify uh, when you enter positive upward spirals in your life and when you enter the negative downward spirals in your life and when you have the positive spiral it's really really crucial that you keep going you keep pushing you keep thinking about ways to be even more motivated more positive but whenever you see yourself entering that negative spiral pause stop reflect figure out what's going on take a massive action to change it into something positive